Hey guys, thanks for coming back to the channel. We're uh, getting ready to move. One more thing on the list to do. And I have my beautiful assistant helping me today. There she is. Hello. You getting ready to move, honey? I'm getting ready. Good So uh, you guys remember this trailer I scored, right? The only place to tie anything down is these D-rings. I have one on each corner, one up there, which is great for heavy equipment. It's not good for tying anything down as far as a load on the inside. So I'm installing D-rings on my trailer. And I went to Harbor Freight. All right, guys, as you guys know, the you guys are following the channel uh, that we're moving to uh, Idaho. July this year, I think, is when we're coming up there. And um, I'm a planner. I got all this stuff ready to go. I got a big dump trailer. I got a dozer. If you guys haven't seen that uh, dozer video, I'll leave the link down at the bottom. You guys can go check out that video. And uh, I bought a dozer to, to fix our road. And that's what I took up to Idaho in this trailer. So, but uh, now we have hardwood flooring and some cabinets and a stove that we got to install. But I have no way to really tie it down inside this trailer. I don't want it bouncing around on the road all the way up to Idaho. So I'm installing D-rings on the inside. Before I continue, if you guys aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, follow our journey as we get out of the city to a quiet, peaceful, slower pace of life. Follow our journey, hit that thumbs up or a thumbs down, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. But I'm gonna show you what I'm doing as far as these D-rings go. Will you hand me, well, I'm talking to my beautiful assistant here, will you please hand me one of those packages for a second? Well, of course, here Fantastic. You go. Here we go, Hallmaster, half inch D-ring anchor, mounts to the floor or the truck bed or whatever you want. It comes with a nice little bracket with a square hole, which you're gonna use a carriage bolt for. Check that out. So uh, these things, now this is a Harbor Freight item. It was $4.50 a piece. And uh, oh, breaking strength, 10,000 pounds. I would say 10,000 pounds is plenty. I'm gonna put one on every one of the upright supports. I'm not going straight into the sheet metal, but let me show you that. So along the bed, we have these uh, two inch tube steel for supports along the top as well. I am actually putting these right in here. I've already marked a couple of uh, pilot holes and I've measured six inches up, but I'm gonna be putting them on the inside of the bed about six inches up on the inside. I could do a, a, a strap over the top, but if my load isn't high enough, the strap will never touch the load. So I need something to tie it down on the inside of the bed for, so that's what we're doing right now. Show them that one. Here we go. So we've already got one installed right here. I had to go three inches with the, uh, and I use the nickel plated ones. And here's the D-ring right there. And I can tie anything I want down to that thing, and it's super strong because I tied it into the main support and not just into the, into, the, into the steel, there won't be any flex on this in any way. And I did go a little bit lower so that the strap can go up and around, but also to have, have it closer to the bottom where it's, it has a little more support, a little more rigidity in the frame. I didn't want to put it up here and be pulling against this wall and collapse the wall or bend the wall in any way, shape or form. So I tied it into the support of the wall and we're good to go. Getting it centered. These are just pilot holes to start the 3 8 inch drill bit. I tried drilling straight with the 3 8 inch drill bit. It wanted to bounce around and move around. So this is like a guide and it starts and I can get that hole precisely square where I want it and the right measurement. Once again, getting my lovely assistant to assist me. Getting excited. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm just living each day, honey, enjoying each day I have here. With me? Of course, with you. Okay. Yeah? Yep. You good? Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. We have protrusion. You gotta hold the bolts on the other side. You gotta push them through. 
So I did deflect the metal just a little bit. That way there's plenty of tension on these. They'll never come undone. They only stick out an extra quarter inch. That's not too bad. My drill bits are getting dull. I need to sharpen them. So my bench grinder is put away in a box. So I'm gonna use my hand grinder. And I've got safety. These are safety glasses, safety prescription glasses. So when you're doing this kind of stuff, guys. But uh, let's revisit that talked about sharpening drill bits uh, gosh a year and a half ago got a lot of awesome comments on that people didn't realize you can sharpen your drill bits when it goes dull you don't go buy a new one you sharpen it check this out so guys you want to you want to keep the face of the stone right on the face of this bit you want to keep the angle but you also have to angle it this way just a little bit you don't want it too flat otherwise this cutting edge right here won't bite the metal so you have to you have to angle it this way and uh, this way. Okay, guys. So you also want to make sure that you grind evenly on each side. It looks like I got one side is a little bit longer than the other. I need to re-grind this side just a little bit. Now, when you guys look at this, you look at this face right here and this face. You want to make sure they're even. They also make a. A, a nice little machine, a little bench uh, sharpener that you guys can just stick these drill bits in with a preset angle into a hole and get a perfect cut on them every single time. They're actually pretty cheap. They come with a really nice fine stone that are really good for these carbide uh, drill bits. Uh, this is kind of the rough and tough field way, but uh, the bench one is, is way better. Oh yeah. Oh man, look at that. It cuts so good it keeps wanting to bite into the metal and, and stop. I didn't tighten it very well. <laughs> okay. Okay, round two. We'll, we'll edit that, that, we'll edit that one. Yeah. What I forgot to mention is that the enemy for sharp edges is heat. So when you go to sharpen these bits, make sure you don't leave it on there too long and get it super hot because as carbide steel, you'll lose the temper. There we go, guys. We got all the tie downs done. It only took us about an hour to drill them all out and bolt them all in. And we are ready to tie down any kind of a load in this trailer. I priced these things out on Amazon and on Amazon Prime and the cheapest I could find them for half-inch D-rings with the brackets on them ready to go was almost $5.50 a piece. That was for like a 10-pack. Um, I got these at Harbor Freight for about $4.25 a piece, and uh, they're heavy duty. So, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Check out the Dozer videos, and uh, stay tuned as we're going to be moving out of uh, California here real soon. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys.